Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV, and the topic of today's video is going to be five great guns on the market. Kind of no coincidence, I guess, that this is coming out before Christmas, so might miss the boat on giving a gun to your relatives, but you can always get that nice after Christmas gift for yourself. So we're kicking off the video with a PS90 made by Effen Herstal. The PS90 is the civilian version of the P90. It's a great gun. It has ambidextrous controls, including the safety right here, which you can actuate with your pointer finger, regardless of the fact that you're left or right-handed. It's really kind of neat because it's got a very strange magazine that rotates the rounds 90 degrees to feed, which I'll show in a little bit, but this is, of course, a registered SBR, as you might notice. Um, like I said, all the controls are ambi, including the magazine release. You've got a charging handle located up front on both sides. All in a very easy gun to work, uh, take apart, all that, and so on and so forth. I also put a little micro aim, excuse me, micro ACOG on this gun, which is a really nice optic. Um, I also uh, put a suppressor adapter on there to go full tilt Mall Ninja, add that little extra giggle factor. And of course, like I said, I'll show the magazine right here. Very cool. A lot of people have actually asked how this works. You click in rounds like you would on a normal magazine, but you can see it rotates in 90 degrees, which is pretty cool actually, making the PS90 something of an oddity. Um, I don't use this for anything serious other than plinking. So it's kind of one of those guns in the safe that comes out just to put a smile on my face, and there's really nothing wrong with that. Although I suppose you could hunt rabbits and, well, if you're a good shot, even maybe white-tailed deer or something. Uh, next up, that's going to be the FN SCAR. This is a SCAR-16. That's going to be the 5.56 millimeter version. The SCAR-16 comes in black um, and this tri-colored situation where FN can't really color match, so they decided, eh, screw it, we'll just make three different colors. But uh, I didn't really care too much about that because I'm not a color matching diva, I guess. But uh, the controls on the SCAR are also very nice. They're ambidextrous. This is also made by FN. I guess FN's figured that whole deal out. But the charging handle's reciprocating. That's one thing I don't like about it. You can see the magazine releases on both sides, which I do like about it. Uh, the safety is in a position where it would be on an AR-15, which is nice if you're coming from an AR-15. It's got a nice cheek comb, cheek riser situation, and a folding stock, unlike your run-of-the-mill AR-15, making the SCAR kind of unique. Um, it also certainly doesn't hurt that I think it really looks cool. This is a great-looking firearm. It comes in a lot of Hollywood movies these days, probably for that reason. But it's also a functionally fantastic firearm. It offers a lot to the, uh, to the user. They're a little expensive, but they are great. And, of course, they also come in 7.62 by 51 if you're one of the guys that decries 5.56 as a poodle shooting round. So, anyways, next up is going to be kind of a twofer. Um, a lot of people really like the AUG and a lot of people really like the Tavor. And at risk of starting a fight in the comments, I just went ahead and put both of them on here because the, they both offer some features that people are going to prefer. I, I prefer the AUG personally. I like that you can pull the barrel out for cleaning or changing to a different caliber, length, what have you. And I also like that it comes with a foregrip that you can fold up in a more traditional posture. Um, and then, of course, fold it back down if you want a pistol grip. Um, something I like about the Devore is I like the QD sling swivels, which are really nice, actually. And I prefer the safety on the Devore versus the AUG's crossbolt style. I just am more familiar with the AR, so both great bullpups. Either one would look great in your safe, and both of them are available now. So next up is a variant of the SIG 5.56. These are still in the market, but in a improved form. I'm not sure what improvements they made, but this, I guess, would be the older 5.56. Although they still are, sorry, 5.56, but they still are on the market. They're really cool. It's an American-made version of the famous SIG 550 rifles. There are some 550s in the United States, but pre-banned SIG 550s command $10,000 often, which is a whole lot of money. Um, however, these function the same, actually. They have that long stroke piston. They have a safety where it's, you know, like on most rifles these days. They've got a folding stock. And they really are pretty pretty well put together guns. A lot of guys don't like the Exeter SIGs and get on a high horse when they're talking about them versus the old 550s. But these are cool guns, guys. And they take down just like an AR-15. As In this regard, you can see me separate the two halves, um, making it, pretty good actually has a little takedown rifle if you wanted a substitute for an AR-15 for some reason. Um, they also do look pretty neat and they function very reliably, at least my example has, and uh, yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about it really. So lastly, we've got a kind of a new entry here. This is a CZ-805 Bren pistol. 
Uh, the reviews on these so far have been positive. Look forward to our upcoming review on this pistol. And also, I'm going to definitely SBR this. So if you're going to get this for yourself for Christmas, throw uh, two $100 bills in an envelope for yourself so you can go ahead and pay for that SBR stamp. Um, the controls are actually quite nice. It's a lot like a SCAR. It's got that reciprocating charging handle that you can uh, switch sides with. Ambidextrous magazine release. Of course, you got your safety where it is on, well, most rifles these days. And, uh, yeah, it functions uh, familiarly. Um, the muzzle brake is also very pronounced and very nice, very, very good at uh, doing what it does. It's got some irons that come with it, but they leave a little bit to be desired. Um, those will probably get replaced, but it does have a nice full-length Picatinny rail. So the 805 offers a lot, and uh, like I said, our upcoming review will be really cool. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's five kind of cool guns that are not an AR-15 that uh, you may be looking for yourself after Christmas. This is Alex C. with TFP TV. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Alex C. with TFP TV. Thanks for watching our video on the top five coolest guns on the market, or whatever I've called it. I don't know what I'm titling it at this point. <laughs> but if you liked that and you like our other content, why not consider donating to our Patreon account? We do a lot of these commentary videos basically so that we have the ability to do shooting videos. Um, shooting videos aren't as profitable as the commentary videos, but we actually do prefer them. So if you'd really like to help out TFP TV, why not consider giving us a dollar or two a month? It would really help us out and it would really mean a lot to us all. I hope to see you next time.